Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify the following algebraic expressions. In the first example, I have simplified square root of the quadratic equation x squared plus 10x plus 25. I'm going to start by factorizing what I have under the root. If I open my two brackets, I'm looking for factors of 25 that will also give us 10x. So on the side, I have x squared plus 10x plus 25. I have that as factors of 25 that will give me 10 is 5 times 5. And if I add 5 plus 5, that's positive 5 and 5. That will give me 10, which is the factor or the term I have in the middle. So if I expand, I have that as x squared plus 5x plus 5x plus 25. Grouping what I have, that will be equal to the common factor for the first bracket is x. I have x plus 5 plus the common factor for the second bracket is 5. I have x plus 5. Note that on both sides, I have x plus 5 common. So factoring out x plus 5, what I have left is x plus 5. So therefore, my factor becomes x plus 5 x plus 5 and applying the laws of exponent if i have x times x with the power of 1 is the same as x 1 plus 1 which is equal to x squared so what i have in the brackets is x plus 5 all squared changing my root sign to radical i have that is x plus 5 all squared or raised to the power of half. The 2 is over 1, so that will be equal to 2 over 1 times 1 over 2 is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So my final answer is x plus 5. Let's look at the second example. In my second example, I'm going to simplify x plus 2 all squared plus 3 in bracket x plus 2 all squared divided by x squared minus 4. If I factorize the value I have at the top, what I have is I have x plus 2 common to the two terms to the power of 2. So if I take out x plus 2 all squared, what I have left will be 1 plus 3. I'm going to explain what I did. I have x plus 2 all squared plus 3 x plus 2 all squared. On both sides of the equation, I have x plus 2 common. So what I have left on each side is 1 and 3. So if I have 1 and 3 left, and I factorize, what I will have is, I'm taking out x plus 2, all squared. I'm left with my 1 plus 3, which is what I have here. So, simplifying, I'm going to do the same for my denominator. For my denominator, I have x squared minus 4. It's two terms separated by the minus and both terms are perfect squared. So this is the same as x squared minus 2 squared. Difference of 2 squares states that if I have a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b, a minus b. So what I have here will be x plus 2, x minus 2. So factorizing my denominator, I have that as x plus 2, x minus 2. Simplifying my numerator, I have x plus 2 all squared multiplying 1 plus 3, that's 4, 
divided by x plus 2 x minus 2 if i expand what i have at the top i have that as x plus 2 x plus 2 multiplying 4 divided by x plus 2 x minus 2 i have common factors at the top and at the bottom so i have x plus 2 cancelling out x plus 2 so what i have as my final answer after simplifying will be 4 multiplying x plus 2 for my numerator and at the bottom i have x minus 2 thanks for watching bye